Hello, so today I wanted to talk about some English words and expressions that I really like, that I think are really cool, and I think they don't have a good equivalent in my own language, which is Italian. So sometimes what I end up doing, if I'm at least if I'm speaking with people who I know they know English and they know it pretty well, I'm gonna use the word in English because why not do it? You know, if I have a word at my disposal that I think describes and conveys a feeling or is very, it's like, a, it's very appropriate for what I want to express, why not just use it? You know, people are gonna understand what I want to say. So, and, and some of the words I have in my list, yeah, as I said, they maybe have translations in Italian, um, but they don't really express the same feeling that they do in English. So uh, the first word in the list is supposed to. Now, in Italian, of course, you have a way of saying supposed to, but it's not it's not as good in my opinion. Now, it doesn't convey the same, I the same idea of supposed to in English, because in Italian, I would say dovere, which for those who know Italian, and maybe this is this can be useful for those who speak Italian and learn Italian. If you don't, please bear with me. I'm going to use some Italian. Uh, dovere means to to have to or must, um, like must do something. You must do this. You have to do this. Um, but we also use it for you're supposed to do this or you were supposed to do this. And it's not, as you know, I mean, it's it's not the same thing if you say you're supposed to do something or you were supposed to go to the grocery store, why didn't you go? Instead of you had to go. There are different nuances and I think supposed to conveys an idea that we can't convey in Italian. Uh, at least there isn't a quick way of doing it. There isn't a quick word that I know of. Maybe there is, but you know, I thought about it and I can't find one. So supposed to is pretty cool. Another expression is you don't want to do this. Like, oh, you don't want to go to that party. It's uh, it's not going to be fun. Or you don't want to go to that place. It's not interesting. You don't want to watch that movie. I, I think it's very boring and you wouldn't like it. What this means is I strongly suggest that you not do something. I strongly recommend you not watch this movie because it's boring or something like that. I mean, we have translations of it. Like you have other other ways in English to say the same thing. But I just like this expression. You don't want to do it because it encapsulates this idea of I strongly recommend against doing this thing and in a way that you can't you can't express it if you just say I I suggest you not do this um, sure you could say I strongly suggest but it's you know it's a little formal if you if you say oh, you don't want to do this uh, like or you don't you don't want to go there it's it's a lousy place it's a light lousy museum, it's a lousy restaurant, just don't go there, it's not good. And we don't, I don't think we have a way of saying that in Italian, other than something like, oh, non ci andare, like, don't go there, uh, which is a lot more basic, but maybe there is, I don't know. Um, then what I have in my list is can't even, I can't even. This is slang, I know, but I like this expression of can't even. And uh, it's funny because it it looks like even has become a, a verb almost. And I know the, um, the expression, I lost my ability to even, which it, it, to me, it does sound like even is, is has become a word, a, a verb. It's totally a verb. I, I can't even. It sounds like it's a verb, although it really isn't. But I don't know. I like it. I, I don't. I don't think there's a way of translating that. I lost my ability to even. It's uh, something that if you don't know English very well, and if you, if you don't understand the little nuances of English, and especially 
you know, slang usage of slang words and slang expression in English, you're not going to understand. And even and also the word even can be tricky if you use it in. Well, I think you might know the the famous uh, "Do you even lift?" which was in a prank by a YouTuber. And、uh, there is no way of translating that properly. There is no way of translating "Do you even lift?" I thought about this, and there is no way. I mean, you don't have a word that translates "even."、Um, as effectively as "even" is in English, and I, I like it. I like it. We have the word "fun." Fun is also a word that used to be、um, a noun. And I mean, it still is. If you say the show was a lot of fun, of course, you know, a lot of something. So that's a noun. But I think that because if you have the verb to be, what follows can be either a noun or an adjective. So you can say, I don't know, bread is is delicious, or bread is food. Food and delicious. One is a noun and one is an adjective. But if you say the show was Fun could be a, a noun or an adjective, and so even though it used to be a noun, sometimes people think it's an adjective and use it as an adjective and say it's a fun show. And I, I strongly approve of that usage. I think it's really cool, and I like it quite a lot. And、uh, and I like it. It's、uh, it's quick. It's、um, it's effective. And I don't know. I think it's better than saying longer sentences to express the same idea. And also. You have the distinction, this distinction between fun and funny that we don't have in Italian. In Italian, fun and funny are both、um, divertente. Of course, we have other words like I don't know, comico, comic, or we have other words that can kind of highlight either the comedic. Aspect of it, or something else, but I think that like sometimes it can be confusing for foreigners, and sometimes it's confusing to us to understand the difference. I, I, I see a lot of Italians writing, "Oh, th- it was really funny," while what they really mean it was fun, and it, it, it can be dangerous if you say that something is funny, if it, what you meant is fun, because you know it's like you're saying something is ridiculous. While what you really meant is, you know, was fun. So it's a dangerous little distinction, but it's also cool because we don't have it, and I think it can be more precise. Next word is badass. I don't think we have a good translation of the word badass, and、uh, I don't know. Like we we have translations that are close, in my opinion, but we I can't find a good word that. Kind of encapsulates what badass really is. So yeah, some if something is badass, I really would have to use the word badass in Italian as well, or something that is less satisfactory, that is suboptimal in its、um, in conveying the meaning that I want to, that I want my sentence to have. It just doesn't work. It just wouldn't work. As well, if I used another adjective, another word. Next on the list are the word words like and text. So again, it's an example of、um, how words can change function. So like used to be a verb,、uh, you you like something, but with the arrival of social media, like can be a noun. The post got twenty thousand likes. And and everybody says this in Italian. Most people, instead of saying venti mila mi piace, because mi piace, what it really means is I like. But I think that it kind of sounds a little. It's it's not as cool to say venti mila mi piace compared to twenty thousand or venti mila likes or like. We don't often don't even say the s. We Italianize it that way. But and it's this is not something I only I do, but it's something that many people do. English has this way of you know having words and turning them into other you know you have a verb and it becomes a noun and it's harder for us to do that. And same thing with the word text. Like if you have a text, like you have a text message, but you can also text somebody. Sure, we have the word messaggiare, but We can't use it transitively, so you can't use it like in English. I texted him,、uh, 
Um, we would say something like I wrote him or I, I told him, but you, you don't have such a quick word in Italian. And the last word is creepy. Now, you can find plenty of translations for this word, but I don't think that any of them is good enough. I don't think that any of them expresses the the feeling, this kind of repulsiveness, but at the same time, it's scary. And it's a, it's a word that I, when I see it, I know what it means very well and I understand how you use it. But I think that all of the translations that we have in Italian can express a side of what it means in English, but but don't come with the, you know, with the full package. And so, yeah, I mean, this is something that happens a lot with languages. You don't have full correspondence uh, between languages. And, you know, this is something that I always have fun thinking about. And I, there are a lot more words. But this is just a quick list that I came up with. Hope you liked the video. Bye.